Hi, welcome to .NET Plus Debate with Support Project. In this video section, I'm going to show you how to work with create new employee record forms. Add me create the employee details in food code project. Before I go through this form, I want to show you how I design the uh, database with store procedure. Yeah, I declare a five columns here employee ID. I make it as a primary. Uh, why big I mention as primary key because I don't want to insert any duplicate employee IDs and I don't want to uh, null value. That's only reason I mentioned as a primary key. And I create a stored procedure here to insert this data into this table. For that I declare five parameters: employee ID, name, password, address, phone number, and I pass in that parameters in values. Yeah table is empty I don't have any data in the employee table open the employer record form here in this employer uh, form you can see employee ID is auto generated ID in my previous video session I already shown you how to create auto generated IDs how this auto generated ID is generating for clear information you have to watch this video just click on this previous video how to generate auto ID I strongly recommend to watch that video before continue this for this video okay yeah. uh, when I enter the details in this video section uh, enter as a because and password I give as because and uh, I giving address as Delhi password uh, so contact number again as it can you see that two things will happen here one is uh, sorry three things will happen here when I just click this create button the whole data will be stored into database that's one thing and the uh, data is stored successfully the uh, top of this uh, controls this the message will be displayed employee ID this employee will be displayed account created successfully the message will be displayed and this created button will be disappear disable it won't show again and it enable the new button this create button will be disabled and new button will be enabled because I don't want to insert the same record into database the only reason I, I disable this create button I'm enabling the new button when I click that new button the whole record will be a uh, data will be removed the employee ID generated another ID let's see you see employee ID account created successfully and the is showing as a new button create button is disabling here when I click this create new button this employee ID will be generated automatically another ID and data will be removed see if we enter something I guess if I create click create button the whole data will be stored in database again the same thing happened if you don't want to store this uh, name or password address contact number just click on the cancel button to remove all this data here and the employee ID will be still displaying same uh, just look at the code how I written for this here create button when I click on create button the data will be stored into database for that I'm creating object here business object in the business object I created some properties employee properties here objects employee ID employee name employee address phone number I'm creating object I'm calling the properties name here I'm assigning the values to that m properties and I pro <coughs> I'm passing that object to this uh, inside employee record methods I'm passing that as a parameters and I'm creating business logic object here when this data inserted uh, here e here again is passing through uh, create employee ID account is calling another method and here passing this property as a object is a business object whatever data in passed here the data will available in this object now again here creating database logic and calling that method when this method calls in database the store procedure will call the whatever the store is I written here store procedure inside employee the same store procedure mentioned here I am assigning that all that uh, values employee ID here I am assigning to that I am matching all that values to this parameters to this because this parameter is inserting here employee ID contain employee ID employee name password address phone number so I have passed I have to match all that 
as it is to insert the data this is the only reason I am creating properties here when it executes successfully it return the return type of that in database uh, execute non query method is one that will be here when it's uh, the return type that in me method is integer it gives some value so if the i is greater than zero then it execute this method you will see the employee ID, the message will execute and it's display here uh, employee ID instead of successfully the same thing happened here when you click on the cancel button it's calling the default method in default method i'm calling the auto generate ID because i want to display new id and the rest of the control i want to making it as a empty uh, when i click the new button the new button will be visible is false and create button will be true the same will happen at the time of when i create the inserted successful data here you see employee ID is visible is true create visible is false that's the reason the create button will be visible and the new button will be comes to visible if you like this video please like my click on the like button or subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching my video welcome to dot .net, 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 .net project project in this video in this section, video section I'm, going I'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to was to database employee details form you can see the left side, 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 uh, side. Uh, i display the i show you a form image i'm displaying the data you have to display the stock ID. id this is auto generated id you know,